All right, so we're here today to talk about steering wheels. Um, Scotty is in the process of installing the Sparco steering wheel um, in his STI, and it has been a little bit more interesting than we anticipated. And um, now that we've finally got it pretty much sorted out, uh, we wanted to pass on to you guys what we've discovered so that uh, if you are installing a steering wheel like this, um, hopefully it'll be a smoother process for you. So most aftermarket steering wheels, Sparco, OMP, what have you, have got this six bolt design, um, and then that bolts to some kind of an adapter. What we're doing here is a Sparco quick release. A um, couple of reasons for that. One is uh, this car is going to be getting a cage in the not too distant future. Um, if you have a car with a cage, being able to remove the steering wheel makes it a lot easier to get in and out of the car. And also some racing series, like the Pikes Peak Hill Climb for instance, now actually require that you have a removable steering wheel. Uh, just you know, in the case of an incident, it makes it easier to get the driver out of the car. So that's where we're going with this. The problem that we ran into is this right here. So this is the uh, clock spring and the steering angle sensor. So the problem is, is that this is not connected to the column. This is something that was attached to the factory steering wheel. And so if you're going to try and bolt or attach some kind of an adapter to the column, you have to have some way to also attach this clock spring um, and steering angle sensor to the column. And that's where we ran into trouble. Um, the original plan was to use the Sparkle uh, weld-in quick release adapter, but in, that doesn't have any provision for connecting basically to this uh, the steering angle sensor. So in doing a bunch of research, what we discovered was there's a company called Works Bell that makes this guy. So this is a, a adapter for the current cars, uh, basically 2007 uh, for the Legacy's, 2008 and up for the WRX's. Basically any of the cars that have the uh, steering angle sensor on the column. Um, so you can basically attach this to the column. It has all of the accommodations for the steering angle sensor. And then you just simply bolt your hub adapter or the steering wheel directly to, to this. Um, why that's important is because for the stability con to con control to work, the steering angle, angle sensor needs to be functional. Um, and that in an STI especially, that ties directly into the center diff control. So if you do not have the steering angle sensor and these two posts actually, these are also sensors that need to be accommodated for, and the works bill does that. If you don't do that, it'll also basically put the center diff in full open mode. Um, so it, it would seem simple just putting on a steering wheel, but it turns out uh, to get everything to work right and be happy with it, it gets a lot more complicated. So, so this is the solution we found. Uh, it's the Works Bell steering wheel adapter. Um, we'll get just some pictures of it finally installed, but um, just wanted to pass this on. So if you're looking at putting on a steering wheel for whatever reason, um, hopefully this will make it a smoother process than it has been for us. So thanks very much for watching. If this, if this video helps you, please drop a like and stay tuned for more flat iron tuning tech tips. What are you doing, Scotty? Hmm? What are you doing? Uh, I was just wondering how to take out the airbag wiring here hmm. without breaking stuff. But that's oh, about it. Well, that's no fun. Getting ready to put a new string below. Metal screw? Blue Loctite. It's a great idea. Metal screw into aluminum. Sure. just that easy. It is It is uh, just that easy. It only took weeks and a bunch of money and... Don't forget the swearing. And don't forget the swearing. <laughs>